So today we are in Dallas at our manufacturer and we get to see our new vegan line come to life. So let me tell you about peanut butter party, our first flavor launching in the vegan line. This is something we've been working on for 10 plus months. I would say the best way that I can describe it is if peanut butter and cookie dough had a baby. The consistency is unbelievable. You can add water, you can add it to your Greek yogurt, you can add it to your oatmeal. The possibilities are endless. You can add it to recipes and it's gonna blow you guys' mind. I know it with all my heart. I use it on a daily basis. Make sure to go check it out when it is live. Make sure to swipe up, grab yourself a tub, a few tubs, because these limited release flavors, they go quickly and then they don't come back very quickly. I guarantee with all my heart, you guys are going to absolutely love them. True story, Sweet Leaf made these sweet drops and these things are like my favorite thing ever. So like I love to travel with them, I use them all the time. You guys been following the channel, you know that. So they came out with a new formula and it's not very good at all. They changed the formula. So I had to search long, far, and wide to find this one. I'm super glad I did but I'm worried that they're never gonna come back with this one ever again, so the supply's dwindling. Uh, with my coffee, I have 60 milliliters of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, and then some of these drops, and then I microwave it for 30 seconds just to keep it warm, because I like my coffee hot, and then now I'm gonna take it over to put it on the espresso. for it to render out but it's three protein milkshake recipes with our protein cookie butter powder super excited with how it turned out let me give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek here Make sure to have that video linked in the description below so you guys can watch it. Be puppy belly, puppy belly. Oh my god, look at you. What I have for lunch is I'm actually gonna meal prep up some salmon, and what I'm gonna make is some salmon tacos. One thing I've been uh, loving lately is like I'll have my first meal of the day, and that's gonna be my pre workout meal. And something that's not too heavy, not much vegetables in there, and it digests really quickly and I'm able to, to, to perform really well in my workout. So what I'm gonna do is actually prep up some salmon. So what I'm gonna do is slice this whole salmon filet in half, and then I'm gonna go across like this and make own individual about, usually about four ounce salmon filets. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is line a pan with aluminum foil. cooking spray, I'm just using some butter spray. So now I'm gonna take the salmon and I'm going to dry it off on a paper towel. I'm gonna to add evenly across the pan. So what I'm gonna do is take this 21 Salute seasoning. I get this from Trader Joe's, it's incredibly good. Just coat each side. Mix 
Excuse me over there. Hello? Can you keep it down over there? I need a ton, just a little bit. I mean, one other one, I just like salt and black pepper is another really good one to coat your salmon with. I'm gonna bake this in the oven, but I know a lot of people love to cook it in the air fryer. Aubrey, you love to air fry if you're salmon, right? Yeah, I did. What do you do it at? What is the temperature? Um, I think I did it at 400 and it ended up being like just under 10 minutes. 400 to 10 minutes? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is put these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. With every meal, now that I haven't been tracking macros, the focus is around a balanced macronutrient profile with every single meal. X amount of protein, X amount of carbs, X amount of fats, to where I know exactly how I feel. And by the end of the day, like I don't have to track all the time because I know I should be in this rough ballpark area. So the tortillas I've been using are these Mission fajita style tortillas. The macros are two fat, 16 carb, three protein per tortilla. I have three of them. Wrap these in paper towels. So I'll go wrap this in a paper towel and then because I like my tortillas like warm, I'll put this in the microwave for about 25 seconds whenever I'm gonna put it all together. What kind of salmon is that? Fresh Atlantic. Is it well cut? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the tortillas in. All right. They're nice and steamy. strategic with your lower calorie foods or when you're trying to feel full and then you're strategic when you're just trying to get calories and then you're not trying to feel full and it, knowing that it's okay to not feel full shit i've been tracking macros for like eight years and it's something that i'm continuing to get better with focused like this. So today is glute focused. So we're starting with reverse lunges. So today I'm working up to a top set of six reps. So I've already done a set of 12 each leg, 10 each leg, 8 each leg, 
And so what I'm gonna do is go for 195 for six each leg. And then I'm gonna move on to my next movement. So let's see how this set goes. I have no idea how it's gonna go because I haven't like progressively tried to push on any type of lunge exercise in a long time. So uh, I've done in the last probably, to start my workouts, the last three workouts and I've been extremely sore, but I've been progressing. So yeah, I think a lot of you guys could implement a lot more of lunge variations as your main strength movement and then doing more squat stuff accessory wise and you guys can make a lot of progress. Alright and also something that's really good with any type of lunge variation, especially reverse lunge, is it teaches you how to grip the ground with your toes. So big toe, pinky toe, heel, gripping the ground really hard creates the stabilization and creates balance. So if you have a hard time, a lot of people on squat, their feet are just all over the place and thus it, they lose control, they shift in their squat. That's a great way to train those muscles in your feet to actively grip the ground and that'll solve a lot of your issues. chugger or a water sipper so like throughout the day I have like four or five times throughout the day that I just chug this whole thing and one of them is post-workout that's most definitely one of those times so like morning right before lunch post-workout right before dinner and then I'll like I'm, I'll sip closer to bed I don't chug water close to bed because I don't want to pee my pants I am like Hi, my chicken. What's the phrase? Not don't worry, be happy, but um, rejoice and be glad, or no, that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is this recipe is going to be on the channel soon. I don't know when, but soon. It's already recorded. So, delicious, nutritious. All right, come here. Come here. You can't go down the stairs. Ooh, let's go. Are you ready? Ah! Are you ready? Ah! Okay, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> Pee on your little bush right here. Oh, you're not gonna pee on that one? You're not gonna pee on that one? Oh yeah, you're gonna, oh you're not gonna pee on, oh there we go. Nice. You guys are funny. topped with a whole egg. We're gonna, I mean, I know this is, this is
This is gonna be runny. So, you know, we gotta do the test on camera. So, here we go. Some of you will think this is absolutely disgusting, and some of you will have to change your pants. All right, so you, I know you guys will probably ask for a little bit of physique update. I'm currently 170 to 175 pounds morning weight. This is at the end of the night, so this is what I'm looking like right now. I'm not like not. I'm not showing that to show off. I'm not showing that to rub this in you guys' face. I'm just showing you what you guys what's possible. I'm five foot eight, 170 to 175 pounds natural, and I'm very flexible with my food. I'm not having to track macros now it's by choice, and my nutrition's helping me live my best life. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Right now I'm protein frosty. So that's how I like to end most nights. Extremely high volume, tasty, delicious. Ness Oreo protein frosty right here. So, toppings of choice for tonight's frosty. We have a 100 grams of Reese's Puff cereal. We have 100 grams of fresh raspberries. 100 grams of Reese's Puffs. 100 grams of fresh raspberries. 100 grams of fresh raspberries is 12 grams of carbs. Well, it's 53 calories. 100 grams of Reese's Puff cereal. 400 calories, 400 calories. So when somebody says, hey Zach, raspberries are healthier than Reese's Puff cereal. Yeah, because you, you eat 100 grams of raspberries and that's 53 calories. You eat 100 grams of Reese's Puffs, that's 400 calories. Ultra processed to where it's highly palatable, super tasty, and 100 grams is 400 calories. This is that simple framework, like changes everything whenever you become so aware of that. So 100 grams of raspberries, 100 grams of Reese's Puffs, 15 grams of mini chocolate chips. The texture you saw that fall. And the beauty of the Protein Frosty is this whole thing is a little over 200 calories. So then I can use all my carbs. It's mostly protein. I can use all my carbs on all the toppings. So even though I'm not tracking macros, it's just the general framework. I'm gonna put my macros, my total macros for the day on the screen. I'm just gonna track macros again. I'm around 2,700, 2,800 calories, which is solid. Makes sense for where I'm at because I'm just kind of chilling. Been like just maintaining my weight, making progress in the gym, lifting heavier weights. It's chilling out. And I'm gonna pick two of you guys who want a copy of my best selling recipe book. But what I want you to do is let me know in the comments below, and this is how you're gonna enter. What would be your favorite three toppings to put on top of this Oreo Frosty? And be as elaborate as, elaborate as you want to be. The ones that stand out and the more elaborate probably the ones I want to pick. So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to pick two of you guys who are going to copy my best-selling recipe book. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you are excited for more full day of eatings. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, any anything you want me to cover in future full day of eatings. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We have so much more cool content coming. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.